Yeah, the berry is just coming out of a lost promotion series. We got a little bit trolled in that series, unfortunately, with an Intin Cogmore and a semi troll jungler. But uh, we'll about 20, we'll need about 21 LP, so maybe two wins to get the promotion series back again. So the climb continues. Um, we we're again, I picked Senna, I was first pick here actually. I picked Senna after we had a pretty good game on it recently. And they picked Ezra Yumi into it, which is pretty convenient for me. I wasn't too scared of their enemy champion selection at that point until the Zac got locked in at the very end. So Zac can enable the Yasuo ulti quite a lot. Um, I can imagine mid's going to be camped quite early, and the ganks from Zack down the bot side are always really annoying. It's like three f flash distances. Um, but, you know, if we manage to somehow survive through all of that and get out ahead, then that puts us in a really good position to then put down, make sure the KO doesn't get too far ahead. Um, my auto attacks and my Q can go through wind wall. So if Yasuo does make an appearance and, you know, the engage isn't as much as he would like it to be, then I can still put some decent damage onto the Yasuo. As usual with the Senna, I like Senna into Yumi because of the executions that we can take. I'm not necessarily going to take a first item unless we somehow fall behind. Just want to have it in time for ready when she has that Athens and Holy Grail. That's going to be like the key thing here. And apart from that, it's just get souls, 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 souls. Yumi's going to need to come out a lot of her and uh, auto attack me most likely and we'll use that to pick up hopefully another quick auto queue uh, depending on how quick she is so generally we can get out a bunch of souls in quite early in this lonely phase so yeah not too much kill threat from them as a duo as the bot in the bot lane it's just more of the zack coming down that's when the kill threat starts coming in Yeah, we are a full AD team. Um, we do have true damage on the on the veins W. A couple of players on our team will be play, will be taking a black cleaver as well. The Wukong, I would imagine, would have it. I think Talon and Kha'Zix might end up thinking maybe taking it as well. But the Wukong will definitely we'll have it. We'll have black cleavers on our team anyway, so that should help a lot. Um, they aren't exactly a really tanky team anyway. I say that, but Ezra can get like two hundred armor though from Frozen Gauntlet and the death stance so if he does that build then he will be quite tanky might well we're going to be taking more to reminder anyway in this game so we better get through a good chunk of it we'll, we'll just have to see how it goes i mean late game we lose for sure even though we do have a vein but you know if we can get win early win mid and close it out properly we should be fine but on paper yeah i prefer that team if this was like a pro match and you saw these two compositions, I'd be betting on the enemy team. My blood still flows, but I'll never be the same. I don't really want to go the try brush way. Not wanting to get poked by Yumi and SQ level 1. It's a chance that could be in that brush. Okay. Got a decent level two advantage here. Mm. It's a bit annoying that W didn't connect them. Death doesn't leave scars. This melee minion should give them level two unless they did miss XP. Yumi's level one, so she missed out on something. Yeah, she just hit level two. Yeah, these guys are playing really, really, really f far back. By now against this, I would like to be on 10 souls. Maybe we can make it difficult for them to farm. Oh, 
All right, at least we get some turret gold then. I think Vayne's got turret aggro. Should have flashed that. Yeah, I think the Vayne had Tara aggro somehow. Luckily, we got first bud elsewhere on the map. Hmm. Yeah, that was a big shame. I'm pretty sure Vayne took two turret hits there. Yeah, horrible start. Ezra also got the kill. Try and tank this wave a little bit here. Kha'Zix is playing for the solo lanes this game, which is fine. Good. As a Sheen first item. Yeah, they're playing with like any out in any interest at all to fight. Hmm. Thing is, like, Yumi here has a spell thieves as well. So, like, them not looking for a fight is strange. Especially when Ez has a Sheen. Like, if you're not looking for a fight, why would you take Sheen? Zax there. I want no souls. Mm. Okay, that didn't that war didn't die. That's good. Zach's, Zach's just sitting, but <laughs> I can't be aggressive at all. That's my control ward gone. Zach's still here. Yeah. Vayne just missed a cannon minion. We, we can't do anything down here. <laughs> Maybe we must be shoving this wave. Yeah, I need that salt. Oh, he actually moved his control wood.
Decent Drake take there. Honestly, I don't think I recall having such a passive laning phase as Senna. I think we're just going to have to take the Grievous wins now. <laughs> it's really annoying. We're going to have to look for alt snipes. I think this game's Zach's top. I tried. We can sort of freeze the lane here. Ez still hasn't got a tier. Still don't understand why he took Sheen first if he's not going to be aggro of it. His Q's a bit wild there. Mm. It's really frustrating. It's like I'm the only one who, in, who actually wants to fight down here. I need to try and just chill. The um, Vayne doesn't want to fight either by the looks of things. Checking for control wards. Zach could be nearby soon. Hmm. That was a really bad cue. So the lanes are falling behind with the Kha'Zix help that they've already had early on. Okay, good. Talon's still got an assist for that then. Lucky that Ez alt went for Vayne and not me. That could have been different. TP from Ez. speed. There's this tier now. Dragon's up in 30 seconds. It would be nice to have that two Drake head start. Hopefully it's Infernal Soul. Is Glacier your best for Senna? In my opinion it is, yes. Yeah, their bot lane is going up there. There we are. Got no ult. There's a ward there. Alright, they did alright. Good job, guys. Did 
Things like swinging around for this. Swinging around for this. Denied the loop. Must have been a cooldown. Surprised he didn't do it straight away. Their late game is still better than ours. We can't forget that. But this pace for us is good. on the bot side of the map. Oh, it's ready. Yes, this is a very slow game. No turret down at the moment. Not many turret platings, honestly, from either team. If life is my curse, live Does claiming a soul trigger cooldown reduction for Q? Oh, yes. It does. You can get one second off every auto on turrets and picking up a soul counts as an auto attack. That's huge. Mm, really felt that they could help there. But okay. Shame I use my heal there for the vein. Gonna have to flash the Zack here. Triple root. Okay, good. In the meantime, we took top to two, right? Yeah, good. Leap distance is horrid. Wow, I'm alive. Here we go. Question is, can we play in from this still? <sighs> nice TP reaction from my team. Thought that was the end of me. I say, yeah, it was a decent condemn. I had to dodge a couple of skill shots there though, as well. Gonna have to go edge of night, I think, this game. Dragons in 20 seconds, and that'll be our third Drake. Okay. It's 
Still surprised in Ezreal buying Sheen and then not going aggressive with it in the laney phase. If I was at Ezreal, I'd be going ham. If I went Sheen first item. Alright, we get to take bot side. Mm. Need a bit more range. Is that a big, yeah, it's a big shutdown for Kale. Kale just picked up 900 gold. Uh, okay, we might need to back off this wave. Yeah, we gotta get out of him. Everyone else in their team isn't looking too great though, but the CS count on everyone's strong. We need to tidy up this game quick. We've got three minutes into our mountain soul. They'll have they'll probably fight for that. I can see them fighting for that fourth dragon. Kale's three levels away from sixteen. Very, very slow game. All lanes are pushed in right now. Tana was waiting for the Ezra to go in there. Good job. Yumi's now on the kill. Makes sense. Yumi doesn't have an Ardent Senza yet. Top. I think once Vayne gets Rage Blade, we should honestly just look to doing the Baron. I guess maybe we should wait for Mountain Drake still. Quite low. Kha'Zix is right around the corner here. Mm. Like Wukong and Kha'Zix are like right there on the flanks. I thought we were going to crush them there. I think people were hesitant to go in. Dragon in one minute. Can't afford a control ward. <laughs> um, I could probably wait in base actually, just for enough. Yeah, I can wait 25 gold. Buffs ready for Vayne. She's got Rage Blade. Should 
she not want it? She doesn't want it. That's actually a really good route. This one, you would have Talon. Got the Ruin KO. I'm dead. Wukong's like not joining in there. That start of that fight was really good for us. Uh, these two can clean up. Mountain Soul should still be ours. Wukong. Okay, good. We've got Mountain Soul still. That's the, the, the important thing. Yeah, just let the Wukong stay bot now. He should probably reset though, but... Okay. Alright, we just need to do this straight away then. Put the damage off a bit. Guys, come on. Oh, okay, we're good. Okay, we're good. Right now we need to zoom it down mid. Wukong still has TP. Shame Wukong hasn't got Death Dance yet. Uh, sack some uh. And he's probably going to be around there. They're going to look for a combo. Wukong hasn't pushed enough in on bot side yet. Alright, there's two tier 2 turrets down. I don't like us being split up like this. Let's see how it goes, I guess. Okay, I can shift on cooldown. It's like Mrs. Q. She's rooted. Good. I died for the root on Kale. That's huge. Um, we've got ways on every single lane right next to their base. Yeah, that's like the two highest DPS players dead right now. At, at worst, this is three in here. This should be game though. <laughs> yeah, so. Kale's up in 10 seconds. This could get really dangerous for to actually finish this. The only buildings left is the most important one in the game. Kale's up. Yasuo's dead. 
Should be enough minions now. GG. Very slow game. Probably should have respected the Zack a little bit more with the flash. Um, but yeah, I mean, they had a stronger late game. The early wasn't as good. Kind of what happened, but you know, if that game went on another, if we messed up like any one of those objectives, like the dragon or the baron, then it would literally be like GG at that point because the Kale would then get enough time to hit level 16. So yeah. Slow, methodical win. And, um, yeah, I didn't do too well in those type of games because it's kind of unusual. Like, everyone just slowing down the pace. Like, I can understand from the vein. Vein's, like, pet point of view, she wants to play slow as well, but we needed to up the tempo a little bit from bot side. I think a different pick than Vein would have been better overall. Just to be a bit more aggro into their face, like a Caitlyn or something like that. I don't know. Anything. But not hyper carry, but, um,. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that one at least anyway. Thought it was alright. Thought it was alright. Everyone on my team got asked apart from me. That, that, that makes sense. That does make sense, to be honest. 